Hey guys, Bumping Game Bad today, bringing my video, and today we'll be going over in Suzuki Sandstorm's console release and whether or not we're going to be seeing mod support for that game when it does release for consoles on September 29th here at the end of this month. So if you weren't aware, I'll link down below the playlist for the Suzuki Sandstorm videos I've done regarding ISMC mod weapons, as well as the video we just did the other day regarding the console release date. So if you weren't aware, Insurgency Sandstorm will be releasing on consoles on September 29th of 2021. So just here at the end of this month, we'll be getting Insurgency Sandstorm on the PS4 and the Xbox One, as well as texture packs and future support for PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox as well. So we'll be getting that here at the end of the month. I will be playing that here on the channel and covering it more. However, I do play this game on PC quite a bit here and there, and especially some of the mods. So one of the things about this game that makes it so good is, first off, it is a very, very, very grounded tactical shooter, very fast TTK. The weapons and the movement in this game is definitely very in line with exactly what this channel represents. Tactical shooters, hardcore, things like that. It's basically one, two shots to kill based on the armor plates. Now, the ISMC mod takes that to a whole nother level. At base in this game, there is a lot of weapons, and we don't really know too much about what this is going to look like when it does release on consoles what we're going to have with it. But at base, the amount of weapons in Insurgency Sandstorm, the base game is still quite a bit. There's a lot of assault rifles. We have ha different handguns, submachine guns, assault rifles, which there's probably about 15 to 20 assault rifles, different battle rifles like the FAL, the Mark 17 or the Scar Heavy, the Galil Ace 52. There's also a good amount of machine guns, shotguns, sniper rifles, anti material rifles grenade launchers, things like that. So the ISMC mod takes all of, takes basically the base game of Sandstorm and brings it to another level. Now, the base there, the original, I guess the original game in certain suit also had mod support and ISMC mod. And just recently here, I believe the beginning of 2021, or maybe it was early in, or later in 2020, mod support was finally brought into Insurgency Sandstorm over on PC, mainly the ISMC mod was a big deal and that's what a lot of people were playing and kind of revitalized the game itself over on PC and I was able to jump in there and also have a blast and I found it a lot of fun too so the ISMC mod basically what this is is they're adding a lot of new assets to the game so this is a community driven mod where they add a lot of different weapons gear tactical gear like plate carriers helmets um, different optics different magazines different camouflages, different laser lights, PEC-15s, things like that. They also have Vortex optics, new new optics for every weapon. So just they take the base game and basically make it better by adding more content. They also added new factions. And again, weapons that they have added to the game are things like the ACR, the Mark 16 or the Scar Light. They have also added the DSA-58 OSW. They've also added things like the Barrett MRAD, different pistols and uh, just a whole lot of new weapons to this game that make it a lot more enjoyable to play. The G36C, G36KA4. They also have things like the Desert Tech MDR in 308 and 556. And then they also have like things like the AK-12, AK-15, AK, or excuse me, the HK-416, 416A5, 417. They also have the SR-25. So a lot of different weapons, MP9s in the game the MPX, the MCX Virtus, the MCX Rattler and 300 Blackout. So they added a whole lot of different weapons, factions, equipment like plate carriers, gloves, helmets, uh, goggles, things to customize your character with, and also the ability to just have an overall more grounded experience. So taking the base of Sandstorm and improving upon it, you, in Sandstorm itself, you could customize for the eyes and see mod, you could customize your character more. You could have uh, things like night vision, not be restricted with the point system because at first the ISNC mod was just an offline, you do PVE, so you basically just be the co op. And I'll link again, you can watch this gameplay down below. So you could do things in this, like basically do your plate carriers, have a bunch of different attachments on your weapons, and just have a blast and really deck this thing out to its fullest. And it was a lot of fun to play around with. Edit your soldier, have jeans, flannels, night vision, gas mask. You could have MP7s on sling. You could also have like something like an SR25 or an M110 uh, SAS also. So you could carry a couple different weapons on yourself. And again, this game just took it to a whole nother level with the ISMC mod. So the question is, will there be mod support on consoles? And again, if you want to check out the ISMC mod gameplay, you can check out the videos I'll link down below in the playlist. 
but will there be mod support on consoles? There hasn't been any confirmation of this or not. Now, the ISNC mod in particular, like I said, started off as co-op and then expanded into PvP as well with all these new weapons, gear, and everything like that. This is basically like a Milsim, a Milsimmer's wet dream is the ISMC mod. So, will this be available on consoles? And again, the developers of Sandstorm have not confirmed or denied anything. We really don't have that much information. I know the beta did, did take place recently, as well as closed alpha testing and things like that for the console versions of Sandstorm. And I have never really heard of any games having mod support on consoles, unfortunately which is kind of a big letdown. Hopefully they would maybe bring in some of these assets along with the game as DLCs or something along those lines, because it just makes the whole experience that much better with all the new weapons you can experiment with. You can customize where you want your tactical, your, your laser lights and things like that. So you can have different laser light combos. Think of like a PEC-15 on the right hand rail on the top rail you could also have laser light combos so you have a pec 15 along with a, a tactical flashlight you can customize which rail you want that on so almost to the extent of something like world war 3 and tarkov is what the modding community for ismc mod did and again these guys are making these weapons doing the reload animations all from scratch on their own so a lot of hard work went into this mod I really hope that we'll see some of this reflected over on consoles, at least maybe for the next gen versions, that being PS5 and the new Xbox at some point when they do release a specific version for that, hopefully. But let me know down below what you guys think. Do you think we'll have mod support for Sandstorm on consoles, specifically the ISMC mod? I really hope because they do have all these different weapons already brought in with the ISMC mod, maybe the developers, like I said, will add some of these along with the base game down the road. However, I highly, highly doubt that, just given the fact that this game has been out since 2018, and they really haven't added any additional weapons that we've seen with the ISMC mod. So the ISMC mod just being, again, a community-driven mod, it's basically what the community wanted added to the game, and so they did it themselves, and they made it a really fun, good experience, which you can have a lot of fun with with, with PvE, as well as PvP. So. We'll have to see what happens with this, uh, along with maybe we'll see new guns released for this game with continued support, not only on PC, but maybe on console going forward, and maybe we'll see some of these weapons and things that have been uh, brought into the game with different mods, such as ISMC, make their way to console in some form or another. Let me know down below what you guys think. Again, I don't believe they've had anything about this uh, officially published that I've seen from the sources. There's been some rumors on Reddit here and there that maybe there will be mod support, but again, nothing that has been confirmed by the development studio yet to my knowledge. But let me know down below if you've heard differently, if you want mod support like the ISMC mod, if you've played this game on PC or not, or is the console version gonna be your first experience of this? Again, this game releases on September 29th here at the end of the month. And I think we'll have a lot of fun here as a community before Battlefield launches with this and even after, just because we can do a lot of uh, co-op experiences together as well as PVP gameplay. But I think the co-op gameplay for this is just a lot of fun to play and I think it's really entertaining as well. The ISMC mod I've only ever played with PVE, so the co-op experience, and again, it's just a lot of fun to play. Good tactical gameplay to have a good time and just get into a good tactical shooter where you don't need to worry about uh, getting sweated on, something like Call of Duty or something. So ISMC mod, and Suzy Sandstorm, great game. I'm excited to finally play it on console. I got really used to it on PC, so we'll have to see what the transition is like over to consoles from PC playing this game. But again, let me know down below what you guys think. If you're going to get this game for the first time, get it again on a console. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you want to see the ISMC mod, till next time, this is Buckner Gaming, out.